thank you, sir. There you go. For this, <laughs> thank you for this rant. <laughs> if, if if we think you made an ass of yourself, that's okay. We have never we liked played, it. We have never played anything from a board of supervisors meeting ever. R- right. We liked what you did, sir. And for everybody that's on the anti-vax side of things, I want you to know this is your guy. This is your man. This, this, this is man. Is, right. This this is your dude right here. This is the guy who represents the anti-vax community. Uh, does anybody have this guy's name or no? No, I, I can't find it. I, it's somewhere out there. I saw him. Uh, he was he's from Ocean Beach, and uh, we can find his name rather easily. But of course, he's sir, from Ocean Beach, sir. Here you go. <laughs> Let us. You wanted your fifteen minutes of fame. We're going to put your voice on radio. We're going to put your face on TV. We'll blast it all over YouTube. We'll throw it up on social media. You wanted your fifteen minutes of fame. Here you go, sir. Play it, Alex. Of your back, and they should be begging you to do the right thing. You're about to open a pit of hell. You do not get a vaccine passport put on us. You know, as the population who's in control, you know that the people who are the politicians, once you get a power, you will never relinquish it. Do you think that the four feet of marble that holds you above high in this chamber will help you from the fate of humanity which you are unleashing no 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 No. your children and your children's children will be subjugated they will be asked how many vaccines have you had have you been a good little Nazi hail Fauci hail Fauci hail Fauci hail Fauci there has been a lot of talk about the Nuremberg Code. Well, I brought you a copy. You are all in violation of Section 1. Yes, you, Dr. Wilton. You are in violation of the Nuremberg Code, which is international law. And the, de- the definition is... Sir, your time has expired. The definition we shall not be... All right, there you go. Oh, um, so uh, excuse me, sir. This guy, your time's expired. <laughs> let me tell you what this guy would be great at. This guy's got it all wrong. By the way, that mic's got definitely wrong. got COVID. Just in case <laughs> I know, wrong. right? Like I would never go talk on that mic after no. that guy, right? Oh, let man. me tell you where this guy's got it all wrong, sir. Sir, listen to me, okay? You know what you would be great at? You would be a great pro wrestler. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if you got the moves. I don't know if you've got the physical well-being to handle it. Okay. But the hair, the beard, the anger, the passion, the voice. Okay. The pacing. You, sir, would make a phenomenal professional wrestler. And I implore you to please contact the champ of SoCal Pro Wrestling, Anthony Idol, the Neon Phenomenon. Oh, and I, I ask you... To please become a tag team partner. Anthony's vexed. That's not going to work. Oh, he is? Yeah, it's not going to work out. It's not going to work out. Well, then Anthony should body slam this guy. It should be a... Oh, you ready for this? This would be a great promotion in pro wrestling. Loser gets the Uh, shot? Right. Loser (laughs) has to take the shot. (laughs) (laughs) A vax match. (laughs) Yeah. A vax match. That is fantastic idea, Scott. That's a great idea. They've had hell in the cell. Now it's time for a vax match. And that guy took a page out of the Dwight Schrute playbook, man. Like that speech right there was straight from that episode of The Office. We're like, you cannot control us. We (laughs) will not be. Like, I was like, wow, dude, that's straight from, uh, you know. A certain old dictator back in the day. Hail Fauci. Yeah. Hail that part. Hail like, Fauci. yeah, like what's wrong Hail with Fauci? This how man many, and people were cheering him on. Do you have you good little Nazi? That's my favorite line. Yeah. Like, yeah. What? Let, yeah. let me tell you something. Um, people may not understand what Nazis were. Nazis they can't. were people they that showed up in the neighborhood, pulled people from their homes, and murdered them in cold blood on the streets. Okay. Um, Go listen to uh, people who were survivors of the Holocaust and understand who the Nazis were versus now government saying, hey, look, just to let you know, there are hospitals that are being overwhelmed with sick people. The sick people that are showing up with COVID are primarily and overwhelmingly the unvaccinated people. And the people who show up in a hospital that are vaccinated it's kind of like dealing with a bit of a cold, okay? But the people overwhelmingly that are showing up that are not vaccinated, they're the people that are truly sick. And by the way, I'm telling you something right now. 
when the doctors and the nurses and the medical community is like, you know what? Screw them. Screw them. Let's thin the herd. You know what? You had your chance to get vaccinated. You chose not to get vaccinated. Screw them. I'm not taking care of them. I'm not putting myself in harm's way anymore. When that happens, dude, you guys are just all going to die. 